Hello, welcome to Normal Game Couch. <clears throat> Today we're uh, playing Monopoly. I'm joined with my co-host, uh, Mrs. Elfman. Hello. Who's playing under the profile, Lost Like This. <clears throat> so that might get a little confusing, but just remember that this is the co-host, Mrs. Elfman. Uh, I, of course, am Payton. And today we're playing a uh, uh, versus match on Monopoly. Uh, as you can see, we already have like a cats versus dogs thing going. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just getting over a little bit of a coughing fit here. It always seems to happen right before I start the stream. I don't know what's up with that. So, uh, go ahead and press X to select a character, and uh, we'll start the game. We're playing with the, um, just so everyone's aware... We're playing with the uh, free parking uh, house rule set to on. Yep. Because my thought was, if the person who's lagging behind happens to be fortunate enough to land on that space, it might give them a bit of a leg up and help even out the game. Uh, otherwise, if the person who is ahead happens to land on it, then they're just getting what's coming to them anyway sooner. So Yeah. <clears throat> I don't have a problem with free money. Yeah, that was... the logic behind that. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and start the game. Also, we're playing on a custom board today. The uh, board we're playing on is inspired by uh, Normal Game Couch itself. This is a Normal Game Couch themed board. Uh, <clears throat> I'll explain the different spaces as we land on them. Uh, so now we're rolling to see who goes first. I, uh, Payton, by the way, am, am the dog, and uh, Mrs. Elfman is the cat. Yep. Mrs. Elfman, less like this, is the cat. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. You know, the, 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 your co-host name and your username tie together. Um, okay, we're leaving the camera off. I wonder how that would have worked if we had, like, the camera on for the stream and then put the camera on for the game. We'd be, like, in stereo, like... Yeah, that'd be kind of strange. <laughs> Stereoscopic images of ourselves. All right, so it looks like I won... I wasn't even paying attention. It looks like I won the dice yeah, roll. Yeah, so. you rolled a six, I rolled a four. <clears throat> so, like I said, I'll explain the spaces as we land on them for the audience. Yep. <laughs> I left the uh, the trains and and the uh, utilities default though because the cards that you land on like the chance cards and everything still reference those in the old way. All right, so uh, this is uh, Jimmy co-host. Jimmy's a guy that did uh, oh he did Mercenary Kings on the show. That was actually the first like real episode of the show, I think. I can't recall. Uh, I believe it may have been. Yeah, so he helped He helped bring it in. That was really cool that he yeah. helped out with that. So thanks, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this property. Jimmy. <laughs> you don't, bought Jimmy. Don't effing Jimmy me. <laughs> All right, and I rolled doubles, so I get to go again. Yep. Now, of course, before Mercenary Kings, I was streaming uh, Infamous because you wanted to see it and you weren't around. Yep, yep. I so that's that's kind of like the, how all this started. Although yeah. this is so, actually this all started with Grittish plays. Yeah, yeah. If you want to get down to it, mm -hmm. which is also a space on the board. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you are assessed for street repairs. I don't have any houses or hotels, so Man. that means nothing to me. Pooh. Should have gotten that later in the game. Five. <clears throat> yes, I will buy this railroad. It'd be cool to make a, uh, like a, a Zelda theme uh, board mm -hmm. and base all the, uh, the, the trains on uh, locations from uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Oh, that's a good idea. That would be pretty cool. Mm. 
Alright, let's do this. Chance card. Advance to boardwalk. What a low. Now see here's up. here's the thing. Some of the <laughs> some of the cards still reference properties as well. Yeah, but like like rentable, ownable properties. But I mean if you're gonna we have know a custom where it is. <laughs> if you're gonna have a custom board, you gotta change st some stuff or it's not custom. So Yeah. Unfortunately the chance cards don't take that into consideration, but that's okay. Yeah. So of course I made boardwalk normal game couch itself. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna buy that. How can I not? <laughs> right, so I'll buy that. This means I'm about to pass go. Yep. I'm already trouncing you, man. Mm-hmm. Although you do have a railroad early on, and that's a good sign for you. Yep. Yeah, last time I had a railroad, I won. Because I got yeah. all the railroads. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen this time. <laughs> okay. We'll see. <clears throat> so nine circles of couch, that's the space you landed on here. That was mm -hmm. my uh, Diablo 3 event. I played through the entirety of Diablo 3 on the, the show. It was about 30 hours worth of streaming put into that, maybe a mm -hmm. little more. Because I didn't cut any corners. I played it on the stream like I play it in real life. Yeah. So I was completely meticulous. I went down every nook and cranny. And uh, that's probably why not a lot of people watched that one, but uh, <laughs> but I didn't want to sacrifice uh, or alter the way I play the game, because that's how I get enjoyment out of it. And if I'm not yeah. enjoying myself, then I shouldn't be doing this in the first place. Yeah, and if you're not enjoying yourself, then it probably shows in the, in the yeah. quality of the stream. Also, uh, Nine Circles of Couch, for people who don't know, is a reference to the Nine Circles of Hell, uh, which were... Uh, uh, described at length in Dante's Inferno, so mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of each episode, I read a uh, uh, excerpt from Dante's Inferno. Yep. You can't get any more pretentious than that. Yep. <laughs> go to jail. Go to jail. All right. And you don't pass go. It sucks going to jail. Money. It sucks going to jail this early on, but um, it can actually help later. Um when the board gets really dangerous like it's it's good yeah. it's like a safe spot yeah for sure because then you don't have to worry about landing on any expensive properties but going to jail this early really sucks yeah because you're going to go around getting all the properties that i could be landing on yep i am Destiny Tuesdays. Now that was uh, my Destiny event. Mm -hmm. I played every Tuesday for a month, and uh, I didn't want to overdo it with Destiny because everyone was doing Destiny when it came out. So I wanted to pace myself on it, and uh, so I only did it once. I only streamed it once a week, and uh, it came out pretty good. That was um, those were non-commentary episodes. That was just pure gameplay. Yeah, because it was online, and if you were saying things in commentary... Yeah, people would think I was talking to them, and yeah. the way like, you do commentary you is very different from the way that you uh, uh, speak to other players in a game, so they would have yeah. been like, why are you Wouldn't saying this stuff you. to me now? Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to pay the 50 and get out, because I need to get some properties. I can't sit in here. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I have more cash on hand than you right now, anyway. It doesn't, wouldn't make any sense to, oh, of course. I have to pay <laughs> you money. Okay. Uh huh. Alright. <clears throat> I knocked down my cat. Oh my goodness. And yeah, that's double, so you'll get to go again. Mm -hmm. She's so cute when she runs. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I'm going to get this other railroad. It's all right. No, wait, it's all right wait, with me. No, waste all your money on railroads. I'll just be buying, like, boardwalk and stuff. Okay. We'll see. Oh, that's right. I already own boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I landed on my face. Take, take that, cat. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> what a load. I just lost all that money I just got. That, that's like the worst spot. Like, it's not like the... Like when, I mean, like the worst, like default spot in the game like non-property yeah. built up hotel spot but out of all the default spots that's the worst because it always happens right after you pass go so you get mm -hmm. 200 bucks and you lose it exactly right away that sucks mm -hmm. I hate landing on that And what was that? This this is War. Uh, she was a co-host that helped us out on uh, Super Game Couch EX. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was where we played, uh, what was it, Drive Club, Alien Isolation, Shadow of Mordor, and Natural Doctrine. Yep. And uh, we, had, we had a lot of fun that night. Yeah, we did. That was, <laughs> and uh, some other people showed up too, but we'll get to that. We'll get to them when uh, when we land on their spaces. But uh, yeah, but yeah, this is war. She was great. She had one of the best reactions to uh, to a glitch in Alien Isolation. Yeah. She there was this glitch where like <laughs> a bunch of people just collapsed, <laughs> like their their uh, character models collapsed on the floor, and she just she she thought that was great. It was just yeah, it was she had like funny. the best reaction. So. Yeah, I'll buy this property. Why not? All right. Good time. Well, we might have to do that again this year. Yeah. Come, come October. Yeah, we'll have to see if there's a lot of... See if we can get the same people back. Yeah, and see if there's some new games coming out, too. Yeah. Well, there's always games coming well, out Well, yeah, but all at the same time. Yeah. That was where we got lucky, you know? Yeah. All ones we were interested in getting, and yeah, and yeah, I know it didn't do well in sales and like criti critical acclaim and everything, but I actually like Natural Doctrine. Just saying, I think it was too hard for some people. Yeah, I don't know. I I didn't really play it that much, so I'm not I I didn't really figure it out that much because yeah. I didn't play it. Speaking of uh, JRPGs, though, in April we got Omega Quintet coming out, mm -hmm. which is awesome. I'm super excited about that, and I'm sure my uh, potential audience is, is probably less than thrilled that I'm going to be probably streaming that one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Second prize in a beauty contest. Yeah, uh, see, I would have won first prize. Ah. That's why. <laughs> Aiming for that cat. Yep. I like to knock that cat over. Ah, live from Nietzsche Yobi Game Center. That's an uh, event that uh, we're... Ha I can't remember the date, but it's it's next month sometime, uh, February. We're going to be playing a lot of authentic arcade games right on the stream. I have eight planned over two days, so so check the schedule below for that. That should be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the date, but it's, it's, it's early February. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun. That'll be a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you've got some pretty cool ideas yeah. going in your in your head for that. Yeah, one. don't don't spoil it. Oh no yeah, no no. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely uh, worth worth a watch. Camera. I don't think I need to explain this one to people. <laughs> it's a camera. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy a camera for sixty Monopoly. I see dollars. you got your two orange properties there. That's making me a little nervous. Oh you see that, huh? Yeah, I see that, yeah. So I would really like to land on the other orange property and buy it. You would, huh? Yeah, I would. Okay, we'll see <laughs> Keep about you that. from having it. We'll see. That's all right. We're both one card away from a monopoly, and my monopoly is better than yours. Actually, I got two monopolies that I'm one card away from because the brown is is a two card monopoly too. Although that's not really that. Last dangerous. time, last time we played this, you had 
the brown monopoly and the blue dark blue monopoly and you didn't win yeah <laughs> All right, so Fish Plays Pokemon was a parody of Twitch Plays Pokemon, where, um, like, on this board, I also put some of my, my favorite uh, Twitch uh, streamers. Um, not that Fish Plays Pokemon is one of my favorites, but I, I did watch it for a little while. <laughs> it's <this> interesting. <laughs> fish swimming around in a tank, and, like, depending on where it swam, uh, moved the character on screen and performed different actions in, in Pokemon. So that was pretty... Uh, pretty funny and I enjoyed it uh, I didn't really get into Twitch Plays Pokemon but I know a lot of people did but Fish Plays Pokemon was kind of where I was at and then they came out with Fish Plays uh, uh, what was it Street Fighter and that was pretty awesome so we're going to do an auction here okay yeah so when you don't buy a property we never played like this like back in the day it was always like if you didn't buy it then the next person who landed on it could buy it. Mm -hmm. We never, I guess, I guess that's actually the rules is you have to do an auction, but we never did that. All right, so let's see, this is a green one and no one has any green ones yet. So no. I don't really care too much about getting, buying this one out from under you, but uh, we'll bump it up a hundred there and see what you do with that. Yeah, we'll bump it up another hundred, man. I'm 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 jacking up the prices here. I win. Yep. I got it for seventy dollars off, so I guess I really did. That's win. okay with me because I don't particularly <laughs> want it right now. Well, and like I said, there's no strategic value in it because no one else has exactly, any and that makes you have less money right now. So. Yeah, but I still have way more money than you. You're not doing so well. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, it it, it could turn around. Hopefully it will. That's why I put free parking on for it. I hope that you land on it. I actually sincerely do. Oh, I'm sure you do. No, I, I, I <laughs> there should be, what, 200 in there right now because of the income tax? Yeah, space? at least. Yeah, there should be about 200 in there. And uh, you get to go again because you oh, rolled yeah, doubles. Oh, yeah, I rolled doubles. That's right. I forgot. Can't even see what that other tax is. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Let's go. We used to play a, a house rule back in the day where if you land on go, you get four hundred dollars instead of two hundred. I recall playing that way. Yeah. There's a lot of house rules to Monopoly, man. Yeah. And the thing are. is, like everybody had the same house rules. It's kind of yeah. Weird. It's kind of strange. It's like <laughs> a like a mass consciousness type yeah. thing or something. You're just visiting. <laughs> Snake eyes. Okay. Yeah, see now you're not doing too bad for money right now, so I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Now I don't want you to land on free parking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> We're just visiting together. Apparently. Who are we visiting? There's nobody in jail. I think we're visiting Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> it, just, it just feels right to me. We're, <laughs> we're visiting Jimmy. We're visiting Jimmy in jail. <laughs> I'm sure he would appreciate that. <laughs> We're a cat and a dog visiting Jimmy and Chandler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Alright. 100 what? bucks. Poppycock. I get money, you get money. Too bad you don't have two more dollars. Six, six, six. Number of the beast. And you don't have this one yet, do you? This railroad. No, I don't. Uh, but I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you don't get the, uh, the fourth railroad. I really hope that you hush. 
That's okay. <laughs> I'd be getting uh, I'd be getting some some dark blue monopolies here, man. Okay. We'll I'd, see about I'd that. be getting that. We'll see. Ambrosaur. Ambrosaur. She was another one that helped us out on Super Game Couch EX. And she was on the show last week. Wasn't yeah, she, she was. She played uh, Torkel over here. Yes, she did. And she was getting over a cold, so yeah, there was like a lot of coughing on that episode. But uh -huh. you know, it was cool. At least she showed up, man. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Um, you gonna buy Ambrosaur? Uh, yeah. See, now I have two yellows, so it's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one card away from three monopolies. That's pretty bounce. Now you're three cards away from three monopolies, technically. Well, one card each. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Getting a little nitpicky over here. Oh yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, I've noticed. <laughs> Punk, that's what you are. Chance. Advanced to, well, I don't even know what Illinois Avenue is. Well, it's version. automatic. If you pass go, collect $200. Did I? That's uh, Super Game Couch EX. We've already been talking about that. That mm -hmm. was where we played all those games. And, and I had a, buy it. Had a great time. I guess I didn't pass go. This is like a, it's like a normal Game Couch history lesson over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow! I did like a pirouette. pirouette. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Twinkle toes, Payton. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, if I buy this, I'm one card. I'm four cards away from four monopolies. So uh, if I buy this, though, I probably can't afford uh, Park Place, but that's okay. Oh, but is it? I'm pr I mean, the chances of me landing on that one spot out of all the spots I could land on. Well, I know the chances. It's one out of twelve. But you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's it's a low it's a low chance. So see, that's the thing. Like you know the odds. So yeah. like I'm not going to land on Park Place. So if I did, I wouldn't be able to afford it. But I'm not going to land on it. So and watch me land on it on the next turn. I hope you do, and you can't afford it. I don't know how much it costs. I almost did a pirouette there. I'm yeah. sure it costs more than three sixteen. I think it costs three fifty. Oh, I gotta buy this, but I don't think I can afford it. Ah. Oh. Uh, don't be mean. You gotta let me get it. It's me. It's me. We'll see though, because that completes a monopoly for me. And I have more money, so I can outbid you. Don't be a butt. I, I mean, it's strategic. Like, I have to do it. Like, it's... Don't be st strategic. Don't don't be st strategic. <laughs> oh, my flavors. <laughs> oh, my flavors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That Shout was great. out to Rhett and Link of Good Mythical Morning. Yeah, there. That, was, uh, that was great. That was really funny. I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but it was. Uh, so we're up at... We're up, up to 220. 220. <laughs> I'll bid a dollar. You got three. You got three more dollars on this. I'll bid another dollar, and now I can get it by bidding another dollar. You are so mean. Hey, I gotta do it. There's strategic value in in that purchase. So now I have a monopoly. But you know what? Don't feel bad because you got three out of four train tracks. But it was me. That's all right. You end up bankrupting, and then I'll get it. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, I, I'm really hurting for for cash right now. So, I think you gotta. It's your turn here. Oh, that's right. If if you want to open yourself up to trades, man. Not um, just for that, for the whole set, maybe. <laughs> if you get all four railroads, I'll give you all three yellows. For we'll see all, about that. For all four railroads. We'll see about that. I might take that back because now that I'm thinking about it, you can build hotels on, on yellows. You can't build hotels on railroads. <laughs> so I actually might take that back. That might not be a good idea. 
You said it. You can't take it back. <laughs> hey, all I have to do is not accept the deal if you propose it. Then that would be dishonest. It's okay. It's okay to be dishonest. Hey, how do you think I win board games? By being a douche. Wow, I just got 400 bucks in one turn. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. I tell you. Is there, is there anything that you have over there that I want? I don't, I don't think there think is. So. Um, Get out of here. I feel here. almost kind of bad building houses right now. You uh, 150 though? You, you should mm. wait. That's a lot. I'm going to build one. My, my strategy here is different than a lot of other people's strategy. I like to... I already make the most money on this property, the one that's mm -hmm. further down on the board. Uh -huh. So I like to shore up my uh, uh, my lesser properties with houses. Um, if I'm building unevenly, like I'm not buying three houses at a time, I'm just buying one right now. Yeah. So I like to I like to build the uh, the house on the lesser property. Um, to even it up a little bit. To even bit. it up a little bit. So that's how I do. So, one house. That's how you do. <laughs> that's how I do. That's how you do. So, so <laughs> from humble beginnings, we build one house and uh, we'll see how it's going at the end of the game. Right? Alright. We'll see. Okay. And why was there a police station next to my house? Do I live in a high crime area? <laughs> <laughs> next to your spot, spot there? Yeah. Well, we're, yeah, my spot. My house. My house. There's no houses on my spot. Thank you'll, God. You'll be, stay, you'll be staying at that house and paying me rent, though. <laughs> Chance. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. I was just about to pass go, too. Yeah, that sucks, too. Dag nabbit. That sucks. Now you gotta go all the way around the board again to make any money. Now you gotta hush your butt. <laughs> <laughs> this might be kind of a short game. <laughs> <laughs> it might be kind of a short game. Cillian Strange. This is a guy who um, posts on our Twitch a lot on Reddit. Yeah. And that's how I discovered him. He's got like a pretty good following already, but uh, this is like the like the kind of like the my amateur streamer section. I got a couple of people that uh, that I that I I appreciate their efforts, mm -hmm. and Cillian Strange is one of them. And we've messaged back and forth a little bit. He's he's really good. He's uh, a really good streamer. Does a he's a PC game streamer. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, check him out, Cillian Strange. Um, I gotta say though. There's no uh, strategic uh, value in this property for me. So we're putting it up for auction. Okay. Um, so I guess I start. Yeah, you have to bid. Um, or withdraw. Yeah, we'll put... Uh, well, I'm not letting you have it for 10 bucks. <laughs> well, you, I'm just saying you have to bid or withdraw. Yeah, you I have know. to do one of those. <laughs> That's not happening, though. <laughs> I'll tell you what that number is. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> you are. If I was bitten one like you were, we'd be here all day. I am just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um Congrats. Oh you <clears throat> My number you really my number it. in my head was actually higher than that, but then I saw how much money you had and I was like that hurts you more than it hurts me. So. You're so mean, I didn't even really want it. Well, you got it now. You're so mean. Hey, you got it for like almost half price. But I didn't want it. 
I should have just withdrew. I was about to, too. Yeah, I, I sensed that. That's why I withdrew. <sighs> You're not psychic. All right, end your turn, punk. Oh, it's my Okay. <laughs> it's my turn to end. I can't even really afford to... Yeah, you gotta go jail. all the way around the board again. To and get I can't game. afford to get to get out of jail. Yeah, I almost feel bad for you. You should feel bad for me if you were a decent person. Well, then I do feel bad for you. Okay, <laughs> if you were a decent person, <laughs> like you're not. <laughs> Devil. Good for you. Well, for a second there, I thought I landed on free bargain. Oh, that would have really, really sucked. Here's your. Uh, Eighteen dollars. Go buy yourself a DVD. <laughs> go buy. You can't afford a Blu-ray with that, so go buy. I yourself can a, if it's. Go buy yourself a DVD. I can if it's on sale. <laughs> Roll dice again. Lucy was only a dollar more than that today. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was only nineteen dollars. I think they're just trying to recoup what they lost in the yeah. box office. It's too bad, because it looked good to me. I know you have your issues with it, but... The concept. Anyone who's ever seen Brainwaves on an MRI can oh tell you that that movie is completely flawed. Oh, goodness gracious. But still, it's Luc Besson. Well, Luc Besson made a mistake. Yeah, but... The whole he, movie's built he, around <laughs> a, a flawed concept. Yeah, but he did so awesome with... Um, with fifth element that he can do can't, no wrong yeah well you can't rest <laughs> on your laurels man yeah but it still looks like a good movie and it's got Minchik Soy in it that's cool I don't care about uh, Scarlett Johansson that much but I mean it's the guy from Old Boy's first English language movie I liked her in uh, Ghost World yeah and you know most people probably <laughs> most people nowadays probably don't even know anything about that movie like m people who are fans of hers even yeah it's too bad because it's a great movie yeah I keep getting distracted in here yeah well that's my I'm goal I'm thinking I'm thinking about Ghost World <laughs> I gotta see that again Steve Buscemi was awesome in that yeah and whatever happened to Thora Birch she just peered off the face of the earth yeah whatever happened to Thora Birch that would look good on a shirt <laughs> Like a white shirt with plain black text. Whatever happened to Thora Birch? I'm pay this anyway. What a load of poop. Better give me money. Okay. 20 bucks. Something. Hey, now you can afford that DVD. <laughs> or that Blu-ray. You that said Blu -ray. it, now it I can cost one dollar more, so now you can afford it. Yeah. And tax <laughs> to boot. I can get a couple of CDs that no, no, most people don't even buy anymore. Everyone's buying digital. I like, I like, uh, I like physical, physical media. media. I like physical media. Yeah. I should have bought a house. Too late. Too late. Too bad, so sad. Thank the baby Jesus that I did not land on your spots. <laughs> the baby Jesus. The baby Jesus. Thanks, the baby Jesus. <laughs> Thank the <you>, baby Jesus. <laughs> Thank the baby Jesus. <laughs> Thank the baby Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thirty-six bucks. Thank you. There you go. That's enough for like a season of a TV yeah. show. Go, go fill a tank with gas. And more, nowadays. Yeah. Gas is pretty good right now. Um, buy a house. It's very good right now. I saw yesterday, it's under $2 a gallon now. Yeah, yeah. One, I saw one ninety five somewhere. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That is awesome. It's pretty boss. <laughs> Why are you saying that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I own that. You yeah, know. I know. I'm just I'm looking. I'm 
that was where I landed, so it okay. took me back to that spot. I was, just, I was just rubbing in your face that I own an electric company. And you uh, I own that. <laughs> it's your turn. I know this. Why do you think I'm rolling the dice? I own that. Oh, son of a gun. Fish plays Pokemon. And that's the one that I didn't want, and you got it. <sighs> Should have got it. Yeah. When I had the chance. I almost said something really stupid, and then I was just going to say it anyway. <laughs> I might as well. Um... I have hiccups, and I almost called them hiccup ups. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I got hiccup ups. <laughs> hiccup ups. <laughs> well, apparently, I said it anyway. Ten bucks. It's my it's my birthday. Hey, I should be get, getting that card tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow is my birthday. Cool. Give me ten bucks tomorrow. Give it back to me. <laughs> it's not your birthday. It's not today. It's not your birthday, so why do you lunge out of me? <laughs> Tomorrow I gotta sing, It's my birthday! I don't know any other lyrics to that song. <laughs> gotta get my, my They Might Be Giants in on the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. It's alright. You're about to make some more money by passing go. Yeah, unless I get the freaking go to jail thing. Do not pass the go. Do not pass the go. <laughs> Do not pass the go. <laughs> <laughs> Do not pass the go. Oh, my flavors. Oh, my flavors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that was on Good Mythical More, right? Yeah, that yeah. wasn't on Good Mythical More. Yeah, it was Good Mythical More. Oh, man. That was the one that came after the 200 cheese, or 600 cheese ball episode. Yeah, it was the 600th episode. Yeah. That's why they had the 600 cheese balls. All right, so I'm obviously buying this to no, keep you're not. you from having both of them. No, so. you're not going to buy it. You're going to let me have it. it for 20 for two. Two. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nope. It's not even possible to have anything for that low, is it? Because it starts off at it 10. It starts off at 10, yeah. <sighs> Fo. Fo. Fo me. Fo me. An orange peanut. Fo me. Orange peanut. Fo me. <laughs> oh my wow. god. You are getting like screwed, man. Yeah, I am. Hospital fees. You're not like making any I thought money, I had dude. insurance. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had insurance. I swear. Hope you have hospital fees. What? Oh my god. <laughs> this is not right. Why are we so broke though? Both of us are broke. I keep buying houses. That's my problem. Oh. I keep making money, but I keep buying houses. You should just give me money. That would be a pretty boss move to like open up a trade with you and just give you money with nothing in return and then yeah. still win the game. No. Not the last part. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be that's like the bossest move ever. All right, so that's Nevea 03. She was a, uh, a, a friend of mine, console streamer. Um, we've kind of fallen out of touch because I don't really go on the computer or do anything, uh, you know, social media anymore. But uh, she, I think she's still on Twitch and she still mm -hmm. streams. So check her out, man. She was actually like the first. Um, like my first uh, Twitch friend. Yeah, like Twitch friend. Like Hamby plays games. We'll get to him later because he's also on the board. Was the first like Twitch streamer that I really watched. But as far as like Twitch like friends go, Nevea Three was was uh, was the first. So check out her channel. She's actually, she's really good at commentary. She keeps she keeps the the um, her viewers engaged and. Uh, uh yeah, just check her out. But uh, I got to do this auction now. Yeah, you better uh, bid. And I would like to keep you from getting this because you have one pink already.
You know what? Take it. No! No? Okay. <laughs> I got four bucks left. Oh. Crap. Hey, you pressed that triangle button. I was trying to drive it up for you. You should have went more slowly, because I probably would have had you let you have it for less. Oh. <laughs> I'm not thinking clearly. I had a long day at work. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I forgot I rolled double. Your railroads haven't really been paying off. No, they haven't. You haven't landed on them at all. I want you to land on free parking, too. Like, I, I, I actually want that again. I want to keep the game interesting, you know? Yeah, instead of this annihilation. <laughs> Normal game cows. Annihilation. Yeah. <laughs> Normal game couch. Puppy helmet. <laughs> no Normal game couch. Popcorn eyeglasses. <laughs> if you understand that reference, you are like a bigger nerd than me. So I just made four. Not really, because you got it. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you're an equal. Equal, nerd. yeah. Equal nerd to me. Uh, I can't believe you just got two hundred dollars. I know. I know. What a load of crap! Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do that boss move. I said that I wanted to do. No, you're not. No, I am. Check it out. Check it out, dude. I'm gonna be such a boss right now. You don't even understand. Cause I'm gonna do this, and I'm still gonna win. Really? Yeah. How much are you gonna give me? Three hundred. 300 and there you go and uh, how do I you have to do it over. oh I have to add something huh I don't know I add One. a dollar <laughs> all right all right and I'm still gonna win that's that's okay. that's the bossest move ever you probably will <laughs> Pirouette. <laughs> Pirouette. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. Uh, Maybe I want to go to jail for a little while. Yeah. Hope that you land on some of my properties. We've been getting chance and community chats a lot. Take a trip to Reading Railroad if you pass go, collect two hundred dollars. Now the thing that's interesting about this is I've heard a lot of people say Reading Railroad. Railroad. That is. I don't know. What it's Reading Railroad. Why are you people saying Reading Railroad? Because they're not very smart. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe they never took to reading. Well, you know what? And that's why they're not smart. You know what? Past tense of read is read, and it's spelled the yeah. same, so maybe that's why. So I did pass go, but I have to pay you 100 bucks because I landed on your property. You so. know what? Maybe it is Reading Railroad, because isn't there a town, a city called Reading? It could be, but I mean, come on, But I don't on, think dude. it's spelled like that. It could be, but come on, it's reading. It's Reading Railroad. Come on, man. I always felt that way, like it kind of has the same alliteration as like reading Rainbow. It may, it gives you the same feeling, you know? The same feeling? Like that nostalgic, happy feeling? Yeah, like reading, ra reading, reading Railroad. Reading Railroad. <laughs> yeah, like Le LeVar Burton's the conductor. <laughs> Instead of butterfly in the sky, it's butterfly on the track. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds depressing. <laughs> butterfly on the track. <laughs> butterfly on the track. <laughs> no one knows where you're at. That doesn't rhyme. I don't care. <laughs> sounds good enough. John Popper says it doesn't have to rhyme. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Blues Traveler reference. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? That's where we're at. <laughs> I'm you're visiting, visiting me. Visiting you. And you're posed just like a cat. Yep, I am with my butt in your like face. When you wake up and the cat's in, on your bed next to you, mm -hmm. you wake up, that's what you see. Yep, cat butt. Yep. <laughs> and you're sniffing it like a dog would. Yep. You're you're a real cat there, man. You're a real dog. Yep. <laughs> and he just ran through the bars. Oh. Twelve bucks here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Remember that lady that used to say that? That's an obscure reference. You think my <laughs> Blues Traveler reference is obscure? That's a reference that nobody watching will yeah. get. Unless they live in the same town as us. We used and to go, go to the same restaurant We used to we go, go to a to. Chinese restaurant. No, no names or anything. No. We used to go to a Chinese restaurant. And the woman there, every time we'd, we'd like pay for our order, she would say, thank you, thank you. Yeah, she said thank you twice. Yeah. And it was, it was funny because she said it twice. Yeah, that was a that was a good, uh, good atmosphere that place. Yeah, they were always very nice to us. Yeah, but then we moved to the other side of the town and switched Chinese restaurants. Yeah, well, it's, they don't. No one, none of them deliver in our area, so yeah. you have to go where you. It's easy for you to get to. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. not very nice. <laughs> Man, another communion chest. Yeah. Man, so, someone's gonna land on that free parking, and they're gonna be one rich son of a gun. I know, right? Yeah, right. And it's gonna be me right now. Do it. Nope. I'm gonna just die if it's me. It's not. Aw, oh, man. Another chance. Hmm, I hope that's not the not the other railroad. Yep, it oh is. Oh my god. Now you have all four railroads. They don't really seem to be paying off for you, though. It don't matter. Which they is will weird. at some point. No, but it's, it's weird that they're not. They're like... I don't think I've landed on a railroad this whole game. Yeah, that is really strange. Oh, I I've did land, land on, on one. Yeah. Back when you had two of them. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Was it? Maybe yeah, it was when I had I two, remember. I think. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> they don't seem to be paying off, huh? <laughs> they don't seem to be paying off, huh? All right, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to uh, pass. Am I about? No, I'm not about to pass. Go. But when I do, <laughs> there's going to be more houses. So enjoy. <laughs> Man, all the community chests. I know. It's like if this were Mario Party, we'd be totally competing to see if, uh, like, who got the what? What? what star is it? The happening star? Oh, yeah, oh, no, I know you're saying. The, uh, the star that you get on the, that you get at the end for all the uh, Like all the, like green spaces? Yeah. I forgot what that's called. Yeah, me too. The, I don't remember. Oh, man. It's been so long since we played Mario Party. Yeah, Mario Party 10 comes out in uh, March, though. Yeah, we won't be able to stream it because it's not on PS4. Yeah, I wish I could stream that. <sighs> That'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll have to do like an old fashioned Grish place for that. Yeah. We'll see if I can get my stuff together to do that, but. Yeah. We'll talk about that off the air. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it told me like twice in a row. Did you notice that? Yeah, I kind of noticed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't 
apples. Rough. Hmm. Yeah, I can't afford this now. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll auction it, but I know how this is gonna go. Well, you don't have a choice though. You have yeah, to auction. Yeah, I know. for my blood <laughs> it's all right anyway British plays is the show that I did before um, I forgot what we were doing about talking about the spaces yeah, that's right British plays is the show that I was doing before uh, normal game couch um, it's they're all on YouTube so yeah check it out British plays good mm -hmm. show it's the same kind of thing as this, but for retro games. Yeah, yeah. NES, Genesis, Super Nintendo, stuff like that. Even some Atari stuff on there. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, check that out. It's a good, good show, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like to go back and, and watch the Mario Party episodes. Yeah, those are pretty fun. Because we had uh, Brutal Snake <laughs> in there, and uh, who else did we have in there? Artorius. Artorius, yeah. Yeah. Good, good stuff, man. Those were pretty funny episodes. Yeah. <laughs> you were floating there for a moment. Too easy. Too easy. All right. Uh, so we got uh, Zach, co-host. He did... Uh, God, we were just talking about this earlier. What was the name of the game? Dead Nation. Dead Nation. Dead That's Nation. It. Zach did uh, Dead Nation over here. Did he ever do another one? Other episode? Or was that I a... Don't recall. I don't remember. I think there was another one that he did, but I can't remember yeah, what it was. I can't but yeah, which he did. One was. He did Net Dead Nation, which was a, a pretty early, uh, early stream in, in in the show as well. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. I got to get him to do another episode over here one of these days. So you're gonna buy this, or you're gonna auction it? Um, I already have one light blue, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. All right. You have three hundred dollar. You're shy of your railroad. Hmm. Pay you twelve bucks. Gladly pay you twelve dollars instead of two hundred dollars, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> Another obscure reference nowadays. nowadays. Nowadays, I think most people would still know what that's from, though. I don't know. I think they might recognize it, but they might not know what it's from. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Oh <gasps> no! Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you know what this means, man. Come on. Houses. Never. I gotta do it, man. <laughs> um, one here and one here. I feel pretty good about that. I'll leave uh, this one with just one house for now, because I don't want to like get all this money and then spend it immediately. So yeah, I only yeah. got a greenhouse. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a greenhouse on my property. A greenhouse? Mm hmm Yeah. There's lots, lots of plants in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Growing some tomatoes. Yeah, some see, tomatoes. That's, that's why I didn't spend all my money. Yep. Because of that. I can afford this twice over now, 
which is pretty good because there was two railroads between me and Go. Mm -hmm. So that was just, uh, that was a strategy I didn't even know I had. <laughs> when you didn't even know you had. Funny. <laughs> now I just need you to land on some of my yellows. Okay, we'll see about that. Doubles. That was kind of loud. Doubles. Doubles. By the way, I don't think one out of twelve is the uh, uh, the Couchdale Saga. The Couchdale Saga is my ongoing uh, exploration of one particular world in Minecraft for the PlayStation Four. Mm -hmm. I I don't have a set schedule for that, and that completes the set for you. Yes, it but does. But I don't have a set schedule for Couchdale Saga. It just kind of happens whenever. But uh, check that out. That's on YouTube as well. Just search Couchdale Saga. Mm -hmm. There's like some summer camp stuff that comes up when you when you search that for some reason. I don't know what that's about. That's kind of strange. There's like a summer camp called Couchdale or something. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm looking to figure out where I want to put my... But anyway, what I was saying was... Um, uh, one out of 12 is not actually the uh, the odds. It's, um, it'd be a li it's a little more uh, obfuscated than that because... Uh, six, uh, seven, and eight are the most common uh, denominations for dice rolls. Um, so, yeah, taking in taking mm -hmm. that into consideration, it's not that all twelve spaces ahead of you have the same chance of of being rolled. If if it's seven, if it's six, seven, or eight spaces ahead of you, those are slightly more likely. Yeah. Okay, put up a little brownstone there, see? <laughs> Plus it wouldn't be 1 out of 12 anyway, because you're rolling 2 dice, so there's only 11 possibilities. Because uh, you can't roll a 1. No, you can't. You can only roll a 2, and then it goes up to 12, so that's yeah. 11. So there's only 11 possibilities. Deep thoughts. <laughs> With by Jack Handy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's with all these references this this episode? Deep thoughts with Peyton Handy. <laughs> oh man. It's okay. I'm safe. No, it's all man towards me, I not know. you. It's okay for me though, because I'm safe. <laughs> You're such a butt. You're about to maybe land on my houses. No, I won't. Two or a four. You need a two or a four? I'm at your house. Oh. Two or a four would have been awesome. <sighs> I'd rather pay 26 than what those would have cost me. Mm -hmm. So we got about the same amount of money. Uh, but you're rocking all four. Now, my, my one Monopoly is better than yours. Mm -hmm. Like, it's higher up on the board. Yeah. But you're rocking all four uh, uh, railroads. Railroads, yeah. So it's kind of an even game right now. I'm going to eat some legumes. I.e. peanuts. Peanuts. I hope you said peanuts. That's an obscure reference. <laughs> That's a very obscure reference. MST3K. Mm-hmm. Advance to go. Collect $200. The Touch of Satan was the episode. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. This is where the fish lives. Yeah. That's another, another, another uh, quote from that episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He said za at me. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great show. Yeah, I like it. So I'm kind of staying in jail on purpose because uh, I don't want to land on any of your uh, orange properties there. Good for you. I control most of the latter half of the board, and you control most of the uh, 
What's the opposite of latter? <laughs> Former. Former. But that doesn't really make sense in that context. Yeah. Um, letter makes earlier. letter makes sense in that context, but earlier. former doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird how like that phrasing doesn't work both ways in this particular context. Uh huh. You roll doubles. Well, that's okay. I, I think that was my third time, so I would have had to pay if I didn't roll doubles. Yeah, that's true. Chance. I pay you fifty bucks. All right. I'm down for that. I'd like to pass go. That's what no, I'd, that's all right. That's what I'd like to do. coming around to my yellows hopefully on the next turn yeah well you're also coming around my no oh, man you uh, just <laughs> passed it yes I did I'm trying to keep at least $200 in pocket in case I land on the next railroad I'd really like to get to uh, to go and maybe have you land on one of my yellows because uh That'll really shore things up in my favor. This will be me just passing it again. Your railroad. Mm -hmm. Get out of jail free card. That you won't use. Well, I'll, I'll use it if it's the third one and the alternative is paying $50. Yeah, that's true. You know, we were talking about before um, how we should they should have a, uh, an option to use the get out of jail free card as a get out of get into jail free card. Yeah, like in the in the later uh, stages of the game where mm -hmm. things get really dangerous, it would be an interesting house rule to be able to use the uh, the the get out of jail free card to find sanctuary in jail away from the dangerous places on the board. Yep. Like a get into jail free card. Exactly. I think that's a good idea. I think if we ever play like Meat Space Monopoly again, mm -hmm. we'll have to implement that house rule because I like that. Yeah, I like that too. So many house rules. So many house rules. Where are you? Let me see where you are. Where is you? Hiding. Where are you? Hold on. Let me look Hi. at the board map here. You're up there by the greens. You're pretty close to my yellows. I would... I don't want to spend the money, but I would hate for you to land on this space. Mm hmm And not have put a house there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even though it, it it's kind of... It puts me below where I really want to be as far as my, my funds go. Mm -hmm. I think it's the smartest move. Because you might land on that. You probably won't. I now probably that, won't. That would be you rolling a four. And four is more likely than like half the numbers you'd roll. It's more likely than two. It's more likely than three. It's mm -hmm. more likely than 12. It's more likely than 11. Yeah. I'll do it. Are you going to say every single number except for, <laughs> yeah. except for four? Well, I was just mentioning the extremities. <laughs> yeah. But, I uh, but yeah, I... I, I built the house there just FYI I saw it so roll what do you need to, to roll a two or a four I think yeah a two or a so four. I need to roll not something besides a two or a four okay we'll see odds are in your favor yeah C yeah. six I rolled a two and a four so it's a moot point anyway but you know <laughs> it's it's there now so next time you come around maybe you'll land on it yeah I rolled a two and a four that's yeah. pretty funny so you did exactly what I wanted, technically. Yeah, technically. <laughs> I instantly got a 311 song stuck in my head when you got 311. <laughs> 311. Yeah. Monopoly dollars. Of course it was one of their more poppy, well-known songs. I like their album, uh, Transistor. Yeah. To, to me, 311 begins and ends with Transistor. 
Yeah, the song I got in my head was their song Amber. I like their song Borders a lot. That might be one of my favorite uh, 311 songs. They had a lot of good songs. Yeah, they did. They did. That's one of these bands that got worse as time went on. That happens to a lot of groups. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, they never really got not no, good. No, they didn't got, get... But they just they used to be good. really good, and now they're just kind of good. Yeah. Although that the, the lead singer, uh, Hexum, or I can't remember his first name, but uh, he released a uh, a solo album. Mm-hmm. It kind of sucks. I haven't heard it. It's it's not it's not good. Uh, too bad. Go back three spaces. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, thirty two bucks. There you go. Thank you. How come I can't remember that cat's first name? I don't know. For some reason, the name Scott is going into my head. Is that it? Scott Hexum? Sounds like it would fit. Uh, I want to say it started with a J, like Jonah or something. But I I, it no wasn't. Idea. Joe Hexum? Was it Chris Hexum? <laughs> yeah, because Chris starts with a J. I remember Hexum because... Well, I know, I know. <laughs> but I remember Hexum because that's like a weird name. Yeah, it is a weird name. I can't remember. I can't remember that cat's first name. I remember this cat's first name. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I remember first name fifty bucks in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Jack Hexum. I don't know. You're not gonna be able to tell me and have me know. <laughs> <laughs> you're not <laughs> you're not gonna be able to tell me and have me know. <laughs> Hexum. <laughs> Hexum. Hexum. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hexum. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> now I'm thinking of uh, Hexus from uh, Ferngully, Tim Hexum. Curry's character. Yeah. Hexus. He was. Badass in that movie. He's badass in everything. Yeah, he's alright. Oh, come on. You know he's awesome. He was good in. Uh... Legend? Yeah, he was, I knew he that's was what awesome. You were say, actually. actually, that's not what I was going to say. No, I'm surprised. But he was good in Legend. That's probably his best role. But he was what? good in. Uh... Yeah, what? I know, whatever. Rocky Horror? I, I don't care. He was really good in uh, the it? color. He was really good in The Color of Magic. He played an evil wizard. I never saw that. Had Sean Astin in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I keep hearing Waluigi in this game. Wah, <laughs> wah. Wah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. um. Don't you know you're Sam? <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking about the interview now. Don't you know you're Sam? <laughs> Didn't they have a scene like that? Because of all the Lord of the Rings references. There was definitely something about like... I don't remember There was that. definitely something about like... Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do this without my Sam or something like that. Yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> oh my god. That that movie was actually really funny. It, it was pretty good. <laughs> there were a lot of Lord of the Rings references. Yeah, in that well, movie. that was that character's shtick, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hexum. Hexus. You know why I'm thinking Jay? Well, like the first name starts with J. Why? Because I'm thinking of Jonah Hex. That movie with oh that my God. with that guy from You're the Goonies. Ridiculous. <laughs> that guy from the Goonies, not Sean Astin. We were just talking about. Yes, Sean Astin. I know who you're talking about. Um, Josh Brolin. Yeah, Josh Brolin in the Jonah, Jonah Hex. Hex movie. That's why I'm thinking the oh, first name starts with a J. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Ridiculous. All right. So the Justin Flynn. Uh, 
Do I own this? I already own this. Yeah, you already own that. Get out of we here. We never talked about Justin Flynn. When no, we, we didn't because we were talking about other stuff. Justin Flynn does... He's a streamer on Twitch that does a lot of Nintendo games. Like his stuff, I saw him playing some Mario Kart. Kart 8. Cool means. Yeah, Justin Flynn's a cool guy. Um, he's a cool cat. Yeah, he has, uh, he has a face like the guy that did... Uh, Everyone what? says everyone says Anthony Kiedis. He doesn't look like Anthony Kiedis. No, to me. not really. In the face, he looks like the guy that does the. Uh, uh, what's the guy from Can't Hardly Wait with the goggles? What? The guy from Can't Can't Hardly Wait with the goggles. Seth Green. Yeah, he he's got Seth Green eyes. Like from from the nose up, Justin Flynn looks I think like you're hallucinating. No, seriously, from the nose up, Justin Flynn looks exactly like Seth Green. I'm telling you. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Look into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I think it's funny that when you think of Seth Green, you think of Can't Hardly Wait, which is hysterical. Especially because I love that movie and nobody else on the planet loves that movie but me. Well, see, I would think of Robot Chicken, but you don't you see don't see, you him, don't see him in Robot Chicken. Yeah, but there's other things that Seth Green has done. What, like the Paddle movie? Who cares about that? <laughs> Come on, Seth Green? What about, well, I was going to say what about Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but you didn't. I never that. watched that either. Well, he's done a lot of things. It's just, I don't know. I remember he did, uh, Seth Green was on a TV show, like a sitcom. Well, it wasn't a sitcom, it was like a a dramedy before they were, they, it had a name, you know, before dramedies were called dramedies. Yeah. And it was, his family had a zoo. And he was like, it was, he was young, he was a teenager. What's the name of this? Because this sounds slightly familiar. I can't remember. It was a long time ago and he had long hair. It was Excellent. before Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think I kind of remember this a little bit. It was before Buffy. It was in the 90s. 90s. <laughs> it was a long time ago. And I guarantee you most of his current like Robot Chicken fans would not remember this show or know about this show. I just put another house down, by the way. Yes, I saw that. I was trying to ignore well, it. Well, I'm just letting you know. Be in I'm denial. just letting you know. But, you know, it won't matter. I haven't landed on it yet. Oh, I bet you will. <laughs> this game's going on for elbow. Well, it's monopoly. Nothing happening. <laughs> it's, it's monopoly. Dude. I know, but it's weird because it's like nothing's happening. Really. Yeah, a lot of people complain about how long a game of Monopoly takes to play. And then there's always that guy that's like, well, it's because everybody screws it up with all the house rules. If they played it the way it was supposed to play, it takes like 40 minutes. That's no, not true at all. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, dude. No, the only <laughs> time that takes takes that short, takes that short, takes that small amount of time is if you're playing like uh, with house rules, certain house rules. Or if you're like playing specialty games, yeah, like Lord, the Lord, Lord of the, the Rings, Rings one. Lord of the Rings Monopoly has a system where when the ring reaches Mount Doom at the end, mm -hmm. game's over. Yeah, and the ring moves with every like every time you roll doubles. Yeah, or I think like that's that. it. Yeah, no, no, I think there's an eye on one of the die. Oh yeah, and every, and every time, time that, comes, that up. comes up, it's it's where the one would be, but it's only on one die, so it only comes up like one every six rolls. Yeah, and every time that comes up, the ring moves. Forward one space. Yeah, and every time the ring moves... Well, I mean, after the ring moves all the way to Mount Doom, then the game's over. Yeah, no you matter. add up all your assets and yeah. see your one. That, that's a pretty good mechanic for that. Yeah, because then it doesn't last, like, four hours. And it, it, makes, it makes narrative sense as well. Yeah. I just heard Waluigi again. You keep saying that, but I never hear him. I can't. Like, I don't understand why you don't hear it. There's like a ambient noise in the background yes. that you're hearing that sounds like Waluigi. Yeah, going, it's like Rah. yeah, something in the background that's going. Uh oh. Rah. Uh oh. Seventy bucks. 
I could have been a lot worse. Yeah, well, it will be in the future. Well, you got you got to land on one of my spots. I'm telling you. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. You went to go visit one of my families in the Brownstones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's your turn. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> Snake eyes. Not good. No, it's not. Well, no, it's, it's good for me. No, it's not it's good, good for, for me. You. I want, but yeah. you know what? You would have rolled past my yellows anyway, so this puts you before my yellows again. Yeah, I'll still roll past them, so don't worry. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Snake eyes, come on. Nah. Nah. You got doubles though. Yeah, that just puts me that just puts me past go faster, so that's all Man, right with me. You want one past my railroad. If I don't roll a nine, then I won't hit your next railroad, so that's good. So don't roll a nine. Roll a nine, roll a nine, roll a nine. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's Cheese right. and rice. That's right. And now there's no way I can roll a one, because there's two dice, so yep. I'm good. Crisis averted. It's reminding you that I have the last, last blue that you need, the dark blue you need. To yeah, I'm never getting that. You won't. No. Be, you won't trade that to me. No, I won't. No, no, I won't. <laughs> no, no, I won't. <laughs> what was that? Um, that was something Justin Timberlake did, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> it was from the Barry Gibb talk show. Yeah, with that's um, it. Jimmy Fallon and and Justin Timberlake on SNL. Yep. But it wasn't. No, no, I won't. It's no, no, I don't. Yeah. Talking it up. On the oh, Barry Gibb talk show. Talking about oh, politics. Talking talk about, about crazy, crazy cool medallions. medallions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty good. Crap. <laughs> All right. Barry Gibb talk show. Yep. This is kind of a weird episode so far. I like it. <laughs> so many references, dude. Yep. Man. Uh, now land on my yellows. No, that's alright. I just heard it again. Did you hear that? I think I heard it that time. Yeah. Like, okay. Rah. Rah. <laughs> There's a video on, on the internet. I don't know who did it, but it's it's uh, Wario. It's animated. It's Wario yeah, and yeah. Waluigi. Like out rah each other. <laughs> yeah, I recall that. That was funny. Rah. Oh, did I show you? Yeah. I can't remember who did it. It had kind of like an Ego Raptor style animation. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good. 150 bucks. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Look at that row of my properties. <laughs> it's all right. Seven a dollar. No problem. No problem, dude. Not for me. No problem. I got Barry Gibb talk show song stuck in my me head. Me too. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Dogging it up. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm paying you some money here. Yep. Do you land on freaking yellow yet? You're about no. to. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I knocked his bolt down. Wow. <laughs> but it just puts you back and like behind yellow again. It doesn't eventually. matter. I still won't land on it. You can't dodge it three times in a row. Come on. Okay. You're going to land on it this time. All right, you we'll can't see. dodge all those spaces three times in a we'll row. We'll see. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I already did three times in a row. This is my third time. This is actually like your 14th time dodging all of Yeah, up. something like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was just my second time going to jail. Yeah. That's okay. I keep dodging your railroads. I mean, mostly. I landed on, like, two so far. Yeah, but you've landed on my other spaces. Mm. For each pass. <laughs> what is that? 175? Yeah. Uh, that hurt a little bit. Yeah, it kind of did. Yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go, let's go over here. Come on, game. Uh, finally buy that microphone. microphone. So I got a microphone and a camera. Too bad the camera isn't two turntables. Because <laughs> then you can say, I got two <laughs> turntables and a microphone. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see, 50 bucks I know, a piece. I know, I know. I'm god, these properties suck too so much, I don't even good. know if it's if it's worth upgrading. Yeah, and like nobody's landed. I landed on camera like once. I'll put one house down. Like, whatever. When I start getting like totally rich, I'll build that place up, but it's not worth it right now. When you start getting totally rich? Yeah. Let me know when that happens. Oh, you'll know when that happens. <laughs> you'll know because it'll have an inverse effect on you. Oh, okay. So you'll know when it happens. All right. <laughs> it's your turn, you know. Oh, I know. I'm just thinking about all the money I'm going to be getting soon. Okay. You mean all the money you're going to get be losing? I <laughs> know. You can't dodge yellow wall like that that many times in a row. It's statistically impossible. Okay. You just keep telling me. The next that. time you come around the board, you're landing on yellow. All right. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Where did that take me? Into the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Gonna take you right into the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> that Sorry. makes me. That makes me think of Top Gun and Archer. At yeah, the same, I know. At the same time. <laughs> All right, so if Don't I roll, roll doubles if again. I roll doubles again, I go to jail. Don't. Okay. Why don't you want me to go to jail? Go to jail. Because I want you to um, son of a gun. The antithesis to uh, Justin Flynn. Um. I have two out of the three green properties, so I would really like to get this, but I know you'll just outbid me because you have way much more money than me. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I kind of have, I'm doing that thing again where I have like a number in my head. So we'll see what happens. I know you're just going to outbid me because you don't want me to have a corner monopoly like that. That's the highest corner monopoly in the game. Yeah. Also. Mm. Mm. I'm just thinking. <laughs> yeah. Man versus game is uh he's a guy that plays like hardcore um like I want to be the guy style, spelunky style. PC indie games. Mm -hmm. 
He's a hoot, though. Yeah, he is. He's really funny. I like him. But he is like the antithesis of uh, Justin Flynn. And they hosted uh, E3's, uh, Twitch's E3 uh, 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 Twitch stream. Yeah, I'm, mess- I'm messing up all my all my words. Yeah, Twitch did an E3 stream last year. Yeah, and they kind of co-hosted large chunks of it together. Mm-hmm. It was they were pretty entertaining. They were an entertaining duo, and they played off each other pretty well. Yep. <laughs> school fees school should be playing me for being so smart <laughs> <laughs> bringing attention to their school well yeah you know, 10 at least I don't land on a railroad I don't know where it's taking me but it's not putting me on a railroad so that's cool putting you on a community chest alright Receive a hundred bucks, right on. I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and build another house. Okay, you do that. Well, because you're coming around, so... I know, but I'm, I'm gonna pass it right up, so... I really hope you don't. <laughs> I, I think you're strategic... Uh, uh, more likely to land on one of two side-by-side -side spaces. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have three houses here and three houses here. Uh, then you are to land on like this space or this space because mm -hmm. then it's it's a it's a denser area that you have to get past yeah I got gotcha. when they're side by side so that's my strategy there so hopefully you'll land on one of those mm -hmm. and in turn yeah, coming around again Not quite up there yet. Nope. You'll have to roll a two or a three on the next turn. Just visiting. I like his waggly little tail. Yeah. Fluffy little tail. Alright, two or a three. Or I guess a five would be okay too. Okay, so not a two, a three, or a five. <laughs> right on. Long right on. Alright, wow. 800 bucks. You got oh a mortgage. Oh my god! You got to mortgage some stuff. Oh my or god! We can strike a, uh, a trade. No. Let's okay. see what I can do. <laughs> that's the that's the big payout I was waiting for. I knew it was just a matter of time. Can't dodge that stuff forever, man. Oh, that hurts. I mean you. Yeah, like, that me, hurts you. you. I know, but like I I'm even feeling the hurt from that. <laughs> It's 800. You got 634 yes, right now. Yes, I know. Okay, I'm just making sure. I don't even have that many properties. You got like half the board, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't you got have that one, many two, properties. Three, four, like... five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen properties. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven properties and you have fourteen properties. It's that kind of move that's like a death knell for you for the rest of the game. Yeah. 
And now if you roll uh, three, it's clenched. Nope. Thank God. Yeah, land on your own property there. So you survive God. another day. Why couldn't I have rolled that high number before? I know. Let's see what we got here. Another get out of jail free card. All right. That's two. Uh, so, do you remember what I said I was going to do with these brown properties when I got rich? Mm hmm. I still have my railroad, so be careful. Oh, I know. First hotels of the game, right there. Motels? Yeah. Payless Motel. <laughs> yeah, Motel and Payless Motel. Dirt cheap. Those are pretty crappy motels. Alright. And I am very conscious of your railroads. I know it. Reading railroad. Reading, Reading railroad. railroad. <laughs> oh. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hmm. Then don't say anything at all, dude. All right, dude. Well, you said man. It's it's the way I talk, man. I I was, <laughs> man. A, I was an 80s kid, you know? Alright. <laughs> I guess one more here, and we'll oh leave that God. one free for now. Yeah. Punk. Alright. I gotta keep some in reserve for your railroads, because... Just in case, gotta play it safe. HD. HD. HD was a guy that uh, also did Super Game Couch EX with us. Mm -hmm. He showed up around the, the drive club uh, part of the day. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, uh, Super Game Couch EX was. Uh, we mentioned it earlier, but it was an eight-hour streamathon mm -hmm. with those four games, and it was a pretty good time, man. Yeah, had, it was fun. We had a home run, all... home run in pizza, which was really delicious. Yeah, and they were all games that had either come out that day, earlier that day, or the previous or, week. Yeah, or the previous week. Yeah. So they were all pretty much brand new games. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good time, man. That stuff is on is archived on YouTube too. Mm -hmm. So check it out. Search uh, "normal game couch super game couch ex" should bring it up. Yep. I was just watching some of that the other day, actually. Uh, so you land here, I and there's there's this. no money in the kitty now. Literally. <laughs> literally, literally, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Rough. This puts me on the income income tax, I think. No chance. Okay. Fifty bucks. I just can't stop getting money. I know. <laughs> What's up with that? You know, this game makes me feel horrible when I'm winning, and I have to wonder if that's like how rich people like property owners and stuff like that really feel like do they no, feel they don't. horrible about it because like I, I don't do. think they do like I feel oh really my God. bad now like this is what I'm talking about this is probably it isn't it probably this is probably it if you can't mortgage like everything you have and 
pay what was it nine hundred something? Wait, how much? Nine seventy-five. Nine seventy-five. This is probably it. Probably. We'll see. We'll see what happens when you mortgage everything off. Yeah. Nine seventy-five. I mean, you do have like half the properties on the board. So That's you already might... mortgaged, isn't it? Yeah. I don't even. Where are you? Oh, right there. Up there. Man versus game. Yeah. Um... Super Gate Couch EX is going to be mortgaged. Yeah. I like the wrecking, wrecking ball. Yeah. Wrecking crew. You still got all your orange properties, but you probably don't want to mortgage those because that's no, your. No, not if I don't have to. That's your monopoly. Yeah. You got a couple of pinks you could mortgage, and one light blue you could mortgage. And can you mortgage railroads? I think you can. Yeah. Uh, it would probably be in your strategic interest interest if you have to mortgage one more than one railroad to mortgage railroads on opposite sides, mm -hmm. so that you're more likely to for me to land on them uh, instead of like all at once. It'll be spread out. But yeah. do do what you want. Do what you like. And I already mortgaged my um your utility yeah utility. yeah you have everything mortgaged right now except your orange and your railroads yeah this is breaking my heart all right um Pennsylvania That still doesn't get Still give me doesn't enough. do it. You might have to mortgage one of your oranges. I would suggest keeping at least two of your railroads up to make money. But do we do what you want, man. I'm not getting in the middle of this. I already feel bad enough. I don't want to give you advice and then have you lose and be like, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems like it's already written on the wall here. Yeah. Because you're me. Well, I mean, that's that's the name of the game, dude. <laughs> Let's see. When you're winning, though, this game makes you feel horrible. Yeah. And it should. It does. It does, because <laughs> I feel really bad right now. That That's something weird, though, because, like, normally when I'm playing, like, a game like Ticket to Ride or Carcassonne mm -hmm. or something, and it's clear that I'm winning... Mm -hmm. I feel awesome about it, but yeah. this game doesn't make me feel awesome when I'm winning. Probably because it's money. Like it's it simulates having money and mm. making people poor, and that makes me feel really bad. Yeah. So that's probably the difference. That's probably yeah, the, I get that. probably the distinction. Yeah, because it's money as opposed to points. Yeah, and like people like people's living conditions and. Like, yeah. yeah, you're evicted. Screw you, you're out on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> like, that makes me feel really bad. Yeah, I understand But that. it is a game, so I'm still playing to win, but I have to, like, compartmentalize my emotions. So here's some more hotels here. And I guess if you want to ask me how I can sleep at night, I'll just say I won't. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Wow, look at those hotels. Yeah, pretty swanky. <laughs> Not those ones. Yeah. Those. <laughs> they seem kind There's of... There's my uh, swanky green hotel. <laughs> architecturally crooked, though. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right. Emphasis on the duh. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my flavors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my flavors
Oh my god. That is ridiculous. You can't catch a break over there. No, I can't. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> and oh you, I'm god. even knocking your piece down. <laughs> I know. You seriously can't catch a break. No, not even my little token can't. Kind of was somewhere else at the moment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Same, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> I was somewhere else as well. Maybe, maybe we're overtired or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it was a long day at work today. Oh my god. Yeah, you know you're in dire straits when six bucks hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even afford to unmortgage any of my properties. Yeah. Uh. Is this one mortgaged? They're all friggin' mortgaged. Are they? No, there's two so. that aren't. Oh, that one's not. Yeah, but it's only 16 bucks. Something at least. Get some money out of it at least. Get some money out of it. Make some money out of it at least. All the obscure references. Mm-hmm. It's your turn. <laughs> by the way. Falling asleep at the wheel here. Jesus needs to take that wheel. What were we saying earlier about Jesus? That was really funny. <laughs> Thank you, baby Jesus. Thank you, baby Jesus. Thank you, baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. <laughs> I'm just knocking that cat down, man. Mm -hmm. uh, railroad. And that's one of the ones... Nope. Oh, oh there you go. Buddy. There you go. Unmortgage something. <sighs> I don't know if I can afford to. Or if I wouldn't even know what to unmortgage. And yeah. I don't know if it's worth it at this point. You know? Yeah. You're coming around in my yellow. Yeah, again. I need to just cool it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, it's over. Yeah, I think it's over. So you want to go ahead and bankrupt yourself? I think I think I'm gonna have to. Do you to. want to try to see if you can pull? I, how much do you need to make? Like nine hundred some? Not uh, wow. Well, eleven, yeah, eleven fifty. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. No, I, it's I'm not, not gonna happen. do the. I can't do the quick math in my head, but I don't think. Uh, all you have is is two oranges, and two railroads. So yeah, that's not. Which it's that one. Yeah. And then two railroads is all you have left, and it's not in my best interest to trade with you to keep you in the game, so I'm obviously not going to do that. So you'll have to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's one more railroad left if, if you just want to see that for some reason it might be worth $600 to bankrupt, to mortgage, but no, it's not, so... Nope. Yep, can't do it, so... And you ready? Yep. Looks like I win. <laughs> Looks like you do. Congratulations, yep. Peyton. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was pr timed pretty well. We, we mm -hmm. would have had like 15 more minutes in the stream, but that's a comfortable way to end with the, the little window of time that we had left. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a uh, normal game couch. That was Monopoly. Payton versus Mrs. Elfman, or as she was known on the game board, lost like this. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time.